Good morning. Good morning and welcome to DBS This Morning. It's a beautiful Tuesday. Uh, my name is Maureen and we've got a wonderful show for you again this morning. I want to say good morning to all the lovely little folks that have been meeting me. And they are so, they, they're on, they're very on. Let me tell you, Jeff, they're on. Before they see, I see you on the TV. Good morning. We like waking up with you in the morning. Well, it's a pleasure to wake up with you and it's a pleasure for DBS to get into your homes on this early in the morning to help you to start your day. So thank you again and keep looking. Um, this morning we've got quite a show. Uh, we got a little element of Surprise. We're going to leave that for the last feature, but our first feature this morning, we caught up with another St. Lucian creative, and I think this is his time. But first, let's tap into the news desk. Kendall with the headlines. And thank you, Kendall. We take a break. We'll be right back. And now for our first feature, we caught up with Mecca. Mecca is a musical stalwart. This gentleman has been at the musical um, fraternity world for quite some time. And he's done a number of history making moves within the fraternity. And I don't think we've highlighted um, his journey enough. And I think this is a beautiful platform for us to tap in with Mecca and get a sense of just how much he has invested into this craft. We caught up with Kane Carter. This is the original Mecca. Mecca has been a musical prowess for as long as I can remember. Um, we've crossed paths on many, 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 many occasions. Um, and you have been true and very, very consistent with the musical um, um, journey. Mecca, what's going on? Hey, Maureen, it's nice to be here. Um, I've been on, on the morning show a few times, but it's the first time that I'm being there yeah, with man, you. Yeah, so man, you think, you think. Yeah, absolutely so it's, a pleasure as well. Yeah, it's nice to see you you hosting, man. That's great to see. Wonderful. Well, right. let's do this then. Yeah, so um, when I started, I started doing dancehall music, mm -hmm. right? And then um, I transitioned into hip-hop music only because I couldn't really understand what the dancehall artists were saying. <laughs> but the hip-hop artists, I, I like their, their, I like their metaphors, the similes, the way they say certain things, and that appealed to me, right? So I decided, you know what, let me do that, right? But then I saw the soccer artists perform, and I, I want to perform how they perform, you know, jump and do all kind of energetic stuff on stage, right? So I was like, how else could I do that? I could do it by combining the hip-hop that I like, right? Use all the nice lyrics, this, this metaphor, similes, and then uh, combine that with the electronic sounds in some EDM dance music put that together and I'll have fun performing them when I'm on stage right and that's what happened so we're in studio we're creating music and then uh, we, I, I, say, I decide like hey dupes you know what bro we need to do like electronic sound in music let's just put our own twist to it uh, we did zoom zoom we did flat stomach we did number one hit we did quite a few right and then we just put it out there and um, uh, we, we and one of the things that we do is we network so we go to different countries, uh, we meet people, and we did that in California, met some people. Um, they, they told us to send, us, send them some music. We did, they liked it, and they said, hey, I'm going to pitch those to, to different um, um, uh, film and TV shows and so on. And then when I saw the, the email saying, hey, you've been on uh, VH1, single ladies, yo, I was kicking up air and all kind of thing. <laughs> I was just so happy, man. And then after that, it just went on from there. So since uh, VH1, it has been on like v Fox, ABC Family, Netflix. Um, uh, uh, it's, uh, uh, it's been many places since. Wow. That particular market, that particular market um, opening up and you now um, being in that zone where you are now benefiting from that. Um, speak to other St. Lucian artists because everybody seems to be focused on the, the being booked and performing on a stage kind of thing but there's so much different avenues and you're now benefiting from that kind of avenue so give us some insight yeah so um so i just realized where i i was strongest right um i knew being uh, doing what i'm doing electronic hip-hop music uh i wouldn't be be called for shows and so on as much as uh, maybe a soca or dancehall artist right so i figure how do i uh push my, my, my music to a, a market where 
I, it could actually generate some revenue, right? Uh, so I decided, yo, um, that's one way. So I, I'm an avid reader, right? So the minute I learned that you could, you know, generate royalties from doing certain things, I was like, yo, I want to do that, right? And so I did it. And then, um, so being in that market now, it was just a matter of networking and reaching out to people. So um, back when when we first started, it was pushing it to film, pushing it to re, um, um, film, TV, and so on. And then now, with the evolution of blockchain technology, we're on the blockchain now. Uh, we're selling our NFTs. We like yeah, really? we, we're using wow. AI to do remarkable things right now, right? Um, and a lot of people don't know that if they're not involved in the space. But we're literally doing it. Like uh, me, dupes, uh, people we work with. We're looking for other artists willing to, you know, be on on the on the movement to actually put them on there. Um, when I first dropped my my NFT back in 2022, mm -hmm. um, a lot of people drop music and they just ask for like you know people to listen to their music on on um, Spotify or YouTube or whatever. But we drop. I did the project I dropped the project on on the blockchain and I'm saying hey this project costs something 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 ethereum at the time ethereum was valued at 3000 US um so so I um, mean in no time like I remember our first sale came from out Amsterdam and then Florida and then California and then and the sales just kept on coming and then we've just released projects ever since so um I'm one to to I I can clearly say that me dupes and the rest of the team like we're just always up on whatever new technology there is yeah i like this vibe i like this approach this is definitely an eye opener for me now and i'm happy you you know we caught up with you um mecca um we gotta wrap up i'm no we gotta have a feature when we have to feature like full hundred do a whole full documentary on you but in wrapping up you said persons could link with you via your social links what's your handles yeah, Mecca Music, M-E-C-C-A-M-U-S-I-C -E -C -C on every social platform. Yeah, just keep it real simple, Mecca Music. Wonderful. Mecca Tanks and it was wonderful catching up with you and all the best. You're going to have to come by and teach us some of those things, man. I, I am I am like, I just spoke to you, I feel alienated. So you need to come and, and make me a little more aware of these things, this world, that whole Met Mecca world, Meta, <laughs> yeah, Metaverse. Yeah, it's soon to be the Mechaverse, man. <laughs> all right. Oh, <laughs> yeah. yes. Yeah, so so thanks for having me, uh, Maureen. I, I truly appreciate it. I always enjoy having a chat with you. Absolutely. All right, so uh, anytime. Big up our DBS this morning for me, please yeah. and thanks. <laughs> DBS this morning, big up yourself. Uasaf. Now for our second feature, I thought this was this was necessary. This was personal for me as well. Um, we have women, mothers, who are the fabric of DBS on a daily. They are in the background and they are contributing to what DBS is is actually offering on the outside. And I thought, wow, you know, Mother's Day is here. We wanted to tap in and give them a little a little room to shine. Let you get to meet some of the awesome mothers who are balancing motherhood and uh, DBS um, contributions. So let's talk and let's meet with some of our DBS moms. Now we are here inside of Linda's office. We are DBS, and many a times we go all over. You understand and we highlight everything and everybody else but we have a group of wonderful and amazing mothers who are part of the fabric of of, of dbs and its, its run-ins on a daily basis and we thought hmm why not tap in this morning to find out how it is that they fed over the uh, mother's day weekend so i've got all of the ladies well not all somebody didn't come but that's fine but the rest of them are here with us miss Anne is here i've got krishna krishna is here one is here. Kathleen. And Kathleen is here. No, it was, it was a task to get all of them in here, but you know what? Because they're doing the work, but they like to stay in the background. But I, I, mm, they're not going to be staying in the background no more. We want to find out how it is that these amazing ladies enjoyed their Mother's Day. Because you all are here. We have to show the appreciation. You all are here contributing to the fabric. Of course, everybody gets to see we, these mothers on the outside, but you guys are making such a, a, a wonderful contribution in the background. So it is important for us to highlight that and let you know that we see you, we feel you, and you're just as important. So I started with Miss Anne. Miss Anne, how was your Mother's Day? Mother's Day was fantastic. I had my grandbabies with me. Aww. We dressed to go to jazz. We had, br we had breakfast first. 
then lunch then we dress to go to jazz i look at outside i look at the sky i look at the sun and i say you know what jazz is right on the sofa there for me oh. i kick off my shoes put a cushion under my head put my two feet up and i went to sleep wow. whilst everybody else went off to jazz and boy was that beautiful Wow. Oh, I enjoyed that sleep. That was the best mothers day ever. <laughs> no work to do, nobody to trouble you. Just relax. That was fantastic. Wow. And you wouldn't have had it any other way. No other way. Wonderful. <laughs> and just briefly Miss Anne, what department are you in in, in with the BS? Just give us an insight. I'm administration. Wonderful. And human resource. So let's just say I'm the glue that holds the whole fabric together wonderful well we appreciate you and we want we we're happy that you enjoyed your mother's day oh i did <laughs> i watched smurf oh smurf <laughs> yeah. miss Anne looked at smurf what did you do on mother's day okay on mother's day what i did i went up to my grandmother's place I cooked for my aunt and my grandmother, along with my husband. Don't think we're getting past what you're cooking. And, you want to know what you're cooking. Oh, oh my God. You know what you're um, <laughs> I did some hot dumplings. Ooh. <laughs> and I stewed some backs so and mixed pots, you know, and I put some, uh, how do you call that, um, leaf again. That, spinach? not spinach, no. that yeah. cannel, cannel, you know, put that in there and... Yeah. Okay. But then, sorry, oh, yeah, no. and then you know that was stewed so wonderful. We, I, I, I stayed there. We had tiramisu as our Ooh. as our dessert, <laughs> and we had a nice time. My aunt who likes to, um, she's always the one in the kitchen that day. Although we had to quarrel for a lot to get out of the kitchen because she always likes to be in the kitchen and saying how much salt and this and that. So we asked her today to get out of the kitchen and let oh. us do the cooking i am not really a jazz person so i didn't go to jazz but um my sister and others they went um but it was a very nice day i mean apart from on a saturday when i go to my grandmother's home and spend the whole day it was just another wonderful day knowing that you know it was only us and we were able to do a little bonding like we normally do wow but it was very nice I, that's wonderful now for persons who may not know um tell us you know the relation with dbs because it's important like i said i want to get a sense of these are ladies that are behind the behind the curtains that are doing so much and we don't get to see you all you know so we, it's, it's, it's 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 an opportunity for the rest of our viewing um, public to get to meet the rest of the wonderful amazing women who we get to interact with on a daily okay i think um <laughs> Because I took part in the DBS I Love You show, right. and I mean, I think I became a fan after that. Okay. And DBS adopted me, and you know, <laughs> the innate personality. So, I mean, I mean, I'm back and back, and I'm here over and over and again. And for me, I don't have any children of my own, but oh. teaching, I mean, I have adopted many. But I'm hoping in the next year, or so I should have my own. All right, the university. <laughs> <laughs> we we, we got to be there for that journey. Now okay. we're moving on to Juanita. Juanita, how was your Mother's Day? Oh, you're my, the, you're, you're my the Mother's Day. Mafia. Fabulous. <laughs> fabulous. You know why? Because I said, the only guys at my home, men alone at my home. Oh, yeah. I am not cooking on Mother's you Day. I need y'all to take good care of me. Yes, they have to cook for the dogs too. I don't Ooh. have cats. <laughs> <laughs> so, the morning we go to breakfast. Then I went to church. Sadly, only one went to church because the other two were still asleep. Oh. So I went to church. When I came back home, my husband was there cooking. When I opened the door, I smelled this. I said, oh, Lord, he's cooking. <laughs> <laughs> then we ate. And my friends kept calling. We have to go to jazz, jazz, jazz. So, you know, I fell asleep. But I got up around 4 o'clock, prepared myself. Then we went to jazz. The highlight for me at jazz was Bo Hinkson. Oh, yeah. I thoroughly enjoyed Bo Hinkson's set. Right. That was my highlight at jazz. So I had a fantastic day. Right. And I know most people might be most people might be uh, most people might be acquainted with you because you you're also one that interacts with the public because you're in sales. Oh yes. I'm into marketing. <laughs> um well I head the marketing department at DBS. So a lot of people know me. Yes. Mm. And 
to Kathleen. Kathleen. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Kathleen. I'm 42 year old mother of six. Wow. Yes, yes. My mother's day was great. Um, normal. My children, they're young, you know, so I don't, it's not yet for them to treat me. Right. But the oldest daughter, she's 18, she made breakfast. Oh. So, you know, I just enjoyed the company of them. I, I felt blessed watching them, you know, observing, um, doing the homework. It, it was just me and them. So um, it's, it's a journey. You know, we have our highs, our lows, but um, they make me laugh. I think that the best Ooh. things, yeah, the gold, the ivory, Sophia, that's their names. Um, we know now one boy, five girls. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so we just we spend the day together. Nothing special, you know, because like I said, they're young. Mm -hmm. I'm not expecting the treatment, you know, the treats yet. So I'm the one still doing the treating. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I still cooked. I still wash, you know, prepared for the week ahead. Wow. Yeah. But we still got to watch a movie and and you know set our prayers together, give thanks. We're on our journey. You know what we um our goals are. And that was it, basically an ordinary Sunday for us, wow. yeah, Mother's Day, with oh, my wonderful. babies, yeah. Talk to us, talk to us, um, Kathleen, about balancing, because um, <coughs> you have two family who now, you have yes, your yes, family, yes. you have your DBS family. Yes. Um, talk to us about the two and how you balance and how you transition between oh, the Oh God, two. I, it's, 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 it's a challenge, <laughs> but like I said, it's a journey, um, and they're my greatest resource. My children, they are my greatest resource. Um, and DBS have given me the, the, the opportunity to, to, you know, to make them, give them that comfort that they deserve as children. Um, like I said, I'm a single mom, so it's just my children and I at home. I don't have that male support. You know, so I'm mother, I'm father, I'm nurse, I'm teacher. You know, and um, Linda, Miss Anne, they're like angels. They came to me at a time where you know, I needed that strength. So, yeah, I have two families who at home and one at DBS. Wonderful. Yeah. Well, we, we are happy that we, yes. you, know, you had a wonderful time. I did, I experience. did, as always. You know, the Mother's Day was great. Like I said, in time, mm -hmm. I'll get to celebrate like Miss Anne and, and Juanita and Fisher. <laughs> where well, I'll, put, where I'll be, yeah, put my feet up and you'll be treated. But I know it's coming, you know, it's wonderful. coming. So, yeah. So I look forward to that. Wonderful. Well, yeah. And happy Mother's to you guys. Happy exactly. Mother's Day to you guys. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Yes. All right. Now, Alina is sitting across from us and she yes. doesn't understand that she is mother to Oh, yes. Us. Oh, yes. So I, I don't know. She's, the head. Them, she she is is the, the head. she is the head. Yes. She is the head. Linda is the head. Linda has a mother in many people. Many people. I always yeah. say to her, I say, Linda. You are a mom. Yes, whether you is. believe, whether you she like is. it or not, I you instant, are. I yes. Instantly, like one of, and the, one of the children. Most of the people say they call her to, mama. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh, she's I'm, hiding. I'm, Linda I'm, is hiding. <laughs> and coming to getting Linda hiding. <laughs> and me coming to DBS, I felt bonded as well. Right. You know, with Linda. Linda. Yes. Yeah, I feel like I could come anytime and say hello. Linda is taking care. Linda is doctor. She she is nurse. She is mom. She is everything. Yeah. I think you what should give Linda. The camera rolling. Um, no, we're looking don't for Linda. We're looking for Linda. <laughs> <laughs> you see, Linda has the mother qualities mm -hmm. yes. that a lot of people don't have. While she has not born any children of her own, but in the 20 plus years I've worked with Linda, I have seen her mothered so many, many people and children. There are people who call her mommy. Yes. She's always looking out for somebody, always yes. making sure they have what they need, always making sure somebody get to school and have what they need for school or some, some mother has enough to feed their children for the next couple of days or somebody has clothes or uniform or something. She has that nurturing quality that a lot of mothers don't have. And at DBS, she's our mother, she's our matriarch, she's the head. Mm -hmm. And yes. we all look for, to her. A cut, a oh. burn, a personal relationship, no money in the purse, whatever it is <laughs> yes. for a recipe, yeah? 
Whatever it is, everybody goes for lunch. I had, lunch. I had, I had awesome. Listen, I'm sitting there just on my my walk into the mornings and just to say good morning. And little do I know, I end up with a whole big plate of food. Exactly. <laughs> in, and and then it starts at everything, you yes. know, or somebody passing with something. And you want, and I, I have cake or I have some little treats on my hand. Um, I think it's of note. I think it's of note also to mention Chela because um, oh, Chela is is Chela, is recently. Yes, yes. Uh, uh, mom a second time mom and you know um we would have loved to have had her here as well unfortunately she could not have been here but Sheila, you are here in spirit um of course your mom hiding under the table there <laughs> this is, she is hiding underneath yes. the table right there but you know what i i hope she understands and she knows um just how much we appreciate her in here I because i felt I the love her. you've been here 20 something her. years you've been around for for some time what did yeah. you say you've been here about a few months a few and months. i feel like i've been here for years, years. Yeah. but guess what you just feel automatically welcomed and i think yes. it's you know, know sandam feel the same too yeah man of yes. course so linda we appreciate you mom we love can we say hi, can we say we love you mom we, we love you mom Linda. <laughs> 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 Linda always said, keep the camera rolling. She said, camera keep the rolling. camera rolling. So we are rolling. Always. So guys, we just we are just so happy that we are able to bring that that you know capture that energy because it is very important. Yes. You know, this is DBS. This is yes. this is this is persons who are here contributing to what it is that you get to view on a daily basis. And of course, we need to give flowers when flowers is due before anybody Sorry. pass on. We don't wait around here until it's gone and then we come and we cry and we but we do all sorts of things. I, I, I am so honored to be sitting amongst these wonderful women. Like uh, exactly. And, you know, just Aww. having a wonderful time. So yes. I hope you appreciate that and appreciate that these are women who contribute to what you get to see and enjoy on a daily basis. Put some respect on their name for me, please. Put it all away. Legs, good morning. So, Saint Lucia, in translation, let me elaborate on what I said earlier on the yum yum yum, meaning that the protein that's how good the protein is. She can put it down. So, a busy lifestyle, we have it all, we have protein on sale. Protein bars, protein powders, protein dollies, everything is proteinized right here. So now we need it to help rebuild the muscle tissues and fibers in the body. And then we're going to use that energy we just inserted in our body to exit it out in the legs workout today. We're getting it done. So if you have these bands at home, you can put it on. I am not going to see what else you can use for bands. Figure it out. Look at them putting it on. So you would know, Maureen, you would know what you're putting on. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to say what you can use for bands. Oh. <laughs> oh, 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 yeah. All right. So the first exercise we're going to do, we're going to do knee ups. So we're going to go down on our knee and stay in a squat position and stand. Remember, six minutes of explosive exercise. You ready? Let's go. In three, two, one. You go down and back up. One, stay low. Two. Three. Four. Let's go, Saint Lucia. Five. Six. Seven. Look out for me. You have that. Eight. Nine, one more. And ten. Excellent. How does that feel? That's tough, right? All right. I said piece of protein for that. That's good. Don't eat all the protein before you finish workout. Let's go. You're going to open your feet, your legs, wider than your body position, and we're going to pulse down, I'm stretched out. All right? Let's go. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, five more. Five, four, three, 
two and one. Who? Feel that burn. Yeah. Feel that burn. We're going to take 10 seconds rest. And then we're going to put our feet slightly together. Maintaining the tension of the band or elastic band or whatever that's tight in your legs. Only maintaining the pressure. Slide it together. I'm going to squat down. Hold for two seconds and come back up. Ready? Let's go. One, two. One, two, three, pause. Down. One, two. One, two, three, pause. One, two. One, two, three, pause. Three. One, two. One, two, three, pause. One, two. One, two, three, pause. Let's go. Five. Woo, it's burning, morning. Six. Woo, wheels. Seven. Woo. Oh. Yeah, eight. Pressure. Nine. Oh. Ah, ten. Two more. Let's go. Feel the pressure. Oh. Eleven. One more. Come on. Ah. Yeah, yeah, I know that feeling, I know that feeling, Whew, it's tough, yeah, the, the boost with the hotline is coming in, but you know, we, 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 we can't say I do know because we, my sister body calling for protein, so I just going to put it right in the protein section because you know they're calling for the protein, we have to have it there, all right, so the third exercise, we're going to go as wide as you can, but we're going to put the bands on top of the thigh area. Understand? Then we're going to squat down and let our hands touch the ground. We're going to pulse twice and come back all the way up. You ready? Let's get it done. Go. One. Two. Three. Four. Always maintain a slight bend in your knees. Even when you come up, five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Two more. Eleven. And twelve. Whew. Excellent. It seems like a short space of time. But that was explosive, we need to stretch it out now. Come up more. We're gonna bring back. Four, three, two, one. Next leg. Four, three, two, one. Press it up. Four, three, two, one. And last but on this. Four, three, two, one. Excellent. When you finish the legs, you walk in like you cannot walk again. So you're going to have a commando walking. That's how you walk when you finish the legs. Chest out, core in, and we get it. Can you leave me hanging? I check in. <laughs> and that's how we get it done at Bullshit Lifestyle, powered by DBS. Good morning. And that was our show for today. I hope you enjoyed it. I certainly did. I love the, the last part. That, that, was, that was it. Icing on the cake for me. So uh, guys, I hope you get to appreciate some of our ladies that are in the background working as well. Let's do this again tomorrow. Join us here, right here on DBS This Morning.